and had a major new developments in the Alabama Senate race. President Trump is now openly backing candidate Roy Moore, and the Republican National Committee has reversed course, reinstating the support the party suspended after several women accused Moore of sexual misconduct. Election day just one week away. Our chief national correspondent, Tom Yamas, here with all the latest. Good morning, Tom. George, good morning to you. The president, the RNC, all of that working in Roy Moore's favor, and the timing couldn't be better for his campaign. But those allegations against Moore of sexual misconduct with teenagers still looms large over this race. Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore riding a new wave of Trump support. The president now fully endorsing him. And this morning, the RNC back to supporting Moore when just over a week ago, the head of the RNC said this. The allegations were obviously very concerning um, and concerning to the degree that we pulled our resources. The Alabama voters are going to have to be the judge and jury on this. They're going to have to look at um, the women that have come forward with these very concerning um, allegations. But overnight, ABC News learning the RNC is now changing course and will be sending resources to Alabama, where tonight more will rally with Steve Bannon, the president's former chief strategist. He's a courageous man. And most importantly, he's a righteous man. Bannon helped Moore win in the primary. Moore posting on Twitter, the president told him he needs a fighter to help him in the U.S. Senate. But the glowing support from the White House comes as eight women have accused Moore of a range of inappropriate behavior, including two who said Moore sexually assaulted them when they were teenagers. But I now know for sure that he is a liar. Debbie Wesson Gibson says she was 17 and Moore was in his 30s when they dated. She says he penned this note to her when she graduated from high school. Gibson is outraged that Roy Moore is now saying on the campaign trail he doesn't know any of his accusers. Specifically, I do not know any of these women. Let me state once again, I do not know any of these women, did not date any of these women, and not engaged in any sexual misconduct with anyone. But just last month, in an interview with Sean Hannity, Moore did acknowledge he knew Gibson. I can't recall specific dates because that's been 40 years, but I remember... Uh, her is a, a good girl. And though Moore denies all the allegations of sexual misconduct, Gibson says she believes the other women. It's not hard to believe them. It's painful to believe them. It's sad. Um, it takes what I thought was a very lovely part of my past, and it colors it, and it changes it uh, irrevocably. Now the campaign tells me what Moore is referring to when he says he doesn't know these women are the women who are accusing him of sexual assault. Moore has denied these accusations. The campaign also describes Gibson, who we heard from in our story just now, as active in Democratic politics. George. And, and Tom, more and more signs that the Republican Party is just all in on this. That's right. I mean, a poll came out from CBS News showing that more than 70 percent of Republicans don't believe the women. You have Steve Bannon, who the campaign calls rocket fuel for this campaign. And of course, the, the president backing more. Tom Yamas, thanks very much.